Hi, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's tutorial is how I clean and maintain my equipment in the field when I'm out doing bird photography. Sand gets in everything when I do shore bird photography and I'm down at the beach. So the first thing I use, and I use this almost every day when I'm out photographing shorebirds, is a two inch painter brush with the handle sawed off on it. And that gets rid of all the sand that gets on the gear and then it just cleans it up really nicely. I can also use this brush to brush off any sand that gets on my camera or my lens. And this works really well, again, to clean off any debris that you might have on your camera. So that's the most used thing that I have in my little bag that I carry all the time. The next thing I have, little bitty cosmetic brush. And the reason I use a cosmetic brush is because they're easier to find in the store and they're less expensive than if you buy one at a camera store. So this is just a really soft brush. I only use this on the glass part of the camera and lens. So I will brush off the lens there, I'll brush off the LCD, I'll brush out the eyepiece. And that's what I use my cosmetic brush for. And then sometimes you'll need to use a blower brush. So if you've got big grains of sand out on your lens, you're gonna wanna try to blow them off first before you use the brushes. So you kind of have to think about what you're doing here. If the lens is really, if it's a metal part, use the painter brush. If it's on the lens, you might want to use the blower first, then the cosmetic brush, but you can use these interchangeably. And then the next thing that I have is I always have a little box of Q-tips with me, and I use the Q-tips for cleaning out the eyepiece or any of these other nooks and crannies where uh, sand might lodge itself. These come in really handy if the viewfinder gets foggy, you can kind of get some of the water off that way. And then of course I have the little cleaning cloth. And then I also have these, these are from Hoodman, they're lens cleans. This is a uh, wet and dry kit. They're a little bit more expensive than other solutions, but this works really well in the field. This will clean off oil, grease, uh, finger smudges, all that kind of stuff. This really works well for that. And then I carry a little pouch around that's got a variety of things in it. Let's get that out of the way. I have a bunch of different hex wrenches and these will fit tripods or you know, putting plates on cameras or anything like that. So that's a really good repair item. I keep all kinds of little screws in here. I also have the anchors for the peak design and I have a little catch here for a black rabbit just in case something happens to somebody that I'm with. I always carry a little spare foot. You know, this is a really inexpensive one, but it'll work in a pinch. I have my GoPro little wrench here, the little screwdriver here on the end, but it will work for any video kind of plates that I use on my cameras because those don't often have the hex key lock like the still cameras do. And then I always have spare Allen wrenches for taking the uh, plates off the cameras or the lenses just in case I need to switch them around. And then of course I have my Leatherman and this is kind of an essential tool. The, I use the pliers the most of anything on here just because sometimes you can grab, a, get a little more leverage if you get a filter stuck on the end of your lens. Although, you, you know, be careful taking it off, but that, that looks that way. So that's what I carry with me in this little pouch all the time that I'm in the field. The stuff that I use the most I try to put on top, and that is actually these three things. The two inch paintbrush, the blower, and the cosmetic brush. Those are the things that I use the most. They all fit really nicely in this little pouch. This one's from Think Tank. Anything will work. If you want to learn more about bird photography and take better bird images, hit the subscribe button and then click the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. You can also get a copy of my book. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and a trade paperback, or you can check out the workshops on my website. Lots of different ways for you to learn and get better at bird photography. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this week. I'll see you next week. Bye.